Hey, what's up guys? My name is Echerno and welcome to episode 32 of Game Programming. So last episode, we took a look at this corner pin kind of thing where we, in, inside, inside of the level class, we actually added, I guess, the four corner pins, which basically define which area of the map we want to render. And again, that's very important as, as, we, uh, as we talked about. So today, we're going to actually talk about how we retrieve the tile that we need to render. So in other words, this code right here, specifies which tiles we actually need to collect. And then what comes next is actually like, we need a way to be able to, to be like, all right, I'm, I'm up to rendering this, this pixel on the screen, which tile needs to be there? So what is the position of every tile? How does that work? And the way that works actually is we just make a new method called get tile. And that method will like literally <laughs> retrieve the tile that we need to render. So in other words, it's probably easy to show actually, but um, basically uh, you'll see that at the moment we've like got this random um, level right here and what's going to happen is um, it gets, it's gener it, it generates and it actually gives us a number between zero and uh, three, right? A number, one out of four numbers it gives us, um, <clears throat> ranging from zero to three. Uh, and then what we basically want to say now is if that number is, um, let's just say it's two. If that number is two, then let's pop a grass tile there. That's sort of how our random, randomly generated level is going to come, come together. So to actually retrieve the tile at a particular location, we need to make a get tile method. So um, we'll obviously make this in the level class just because it is, well, it applies to all levels because all levels have tiles. And what we'll do is we'll just go public tile. Now this isn't void, right? The type is tile because that's what we'll be returning. And I'll talk about, I'll talk a little about, a little bit about that in a minute. So public tile, get tile, and then it needs to take two parameters. And simply put, it's just X and Y. So in other words, it's the position of the tile that we're trying to get. Now, um, yeah, all right. So let's just talk about that for a bit. So um, now when, when we actually set a return method of something not to void, void means it doesn't return anything right? That means that it just executes this code and that, that's it. That's it. It just executes this code. Now, public, now if it's tile, for example, right? Let's just import that while we're at it. Um, if, if we set it to tile, this method actually needs to return a tile object. It just needs to return a tile. And it, it might be difficult if you're like new to programming, it might be difficult, difficult to actually understand this aspect of like, what does return mean? What does that mean? That means that when we run this method, it actually returns data to us. And we can use that data to figure out certain things or to execute certain, certain commands, or in this case, to render certain tiles. So based on which tile this, this method actually returns, which, which tile object it returns, that is actually dependent. Like, it depends on what it returns. That's what we'll render. We'll be rendering what this returns. So in other words, um... Well, yeah, I'm, I'm, I guess that's probably the best explanation I can give. Uh, um, it w it'll return us a tile, and that's the tile that we'll render. So we need to actually get a specific tile. So the tile that we'll be getting is actually at this at this location, right? X and Y. So in other words, um, hmm. in other words, you know, X is obviously well, X is horizontal, Y is vertical. But the thing is, uh, we'll get to a, to a particular point that's in between these corner pins because remember we've divided these by four. So we've divided these by 16, we've shifted them right by four. Um, and so what that means is this, this pixel precision is getting converted into tile precision now. And then, uh, so in other words, it'll actually figure out which tile we're at. So we might be at tile number three. And then when it gets that tile, right, it'll, it'll, we'll, we'll plug in this value into here. Um, basically, we'll actually need to process it a bit because as you, as you can see, we're trying to go from X zero to actually X one and and um, <clears throat> process a bunch of values here. But we're, we're gonna like plug in the X coordinate into here, the Y coordinate, coordinate into here. And then hopefully, you know, inside this method, we'll actually figure out which tile we're actually rendering at that point in time. So uh, without, fur without further ado, let's get on to actually how this works. So this is kind of generalized because remember, we do have our random level class, which I'll just pop over here. Um, so yeah, I mean, in, the, in this case, right, tiles is being set to a particular number. 
So tiles is being set to a number from zero to three. So in other words, what we need to do here, and this is actually very simple. Um, all we need to do is we need to say that, okay, so what are we trying to do, right? This is programming, this is logical. Think about what you're trying to do. We're trying to figure out which tile we want to render. And so far we've only made one tile, the grass tile. And what we know about that is that if tiles, let's just say if it equals zero, so in other words, if this randomly generated number, this, remember this line of code generates a number between zero and three. If that randomly generated number is zero, let's put a grass tile there, right? So let's just literally type that. If tiles x plus y times width is equal to zero, then let's just return uh, a new grass tile, but we'll actually be returning tile dot grass. So a static version of that tile. And that is literally as simple as it is, right? It scans through, remember, um, I talked about how X plus Y times width sort of gives you the coordinates where X is the, literally the X coordinate and Y is just the Y coordinate and that's it. It's just working like coordinates on a Cartesian plane. Yeah, well, remember, we're plugging in the coordinates we want into these parameters and then, yeah, it's as simple as that. We literally just look up on the map um, the coordinate of the tile and then, uh, you, you know, we, we, we look up the tiles array and we see which tile is there. And if that tile happens to have the ID of zero, then this statement is true and we return tile.grass. Now, obviously in this case, um, it's, not, it's not always gonna be um, grass, right? Because this randomly generates a number um, from zero to three and it fills up a bunch of values because we're going until, uh, we're basically, it's as big as, as width times height. So that's gonna be a lot of numbers and not all of them are gonna be zero. So we, this is why it's still giving us this error because um, if this is true, it's returning this one, but if it's not, it's returning nothing. But we need to return something in this method. So we'll just type return null for now. Now we'll change that because that's a horrible idea because we'll just get a null pointer exception. But um, the point is, you know, that's what's gonna happen. So that is how um, we render specific tiles. Um, we also need to talk about making a void tile. Now, what a void, void tile is, is it is an actual, it's like a null tile, but it's an actual object. Um, and the reason we do that is so that if, if we actually have to render nothing, we don't render nothing. We actually just render a black tile or something with no data. Because if we try rendering something that has no data to it, we're going to get issues like screen tearing and just bugs, basically, and graphical glitches and stuff like that because we can't render an area with no data in it. If that just doesn't work that way. We need to fill it with some fake, like lack of data. So like, in other words, just black pixels, or we can make them like white pixels or something if you want. But um, yeah, so we'll talk about that next time. But otherwise, that is how we actually retrieve a, a particular tile. So, um, so yeah, that's how that works. So I hope you enjoyed this episode of Game Programming. If you did, again, hit that, hit that wonderful like button because it lets me know that you guys are still into the series and you love it um, as much as I do. And I will see you guys, see you guys next time. Goodbye. 